Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Dubé, I'm with Make Use Of, and today I'm going to show you um, Google Analytics. I'm going to cover a lot of the basics in Google Analytics. I'm not going to get into too much of the complex stuff. Analytics is a, um, a great tool to see uh, traffic on your site, and not only traffic, but your visitors, your referrals, where traffic's coming from, what people are doing on your site. Um, I'm not going to get too advanced here, but I want to go through some of the basic things you can see if you have a website. You don't have to be an advanced analytics user. You can um, just go through the, these, these top items I'm going to show you and get some really uh, useful information about your website. So starting with dashboards, um, you can create from scratch a bunch of dashboards with widgets that show you a lot of the things that you'd have to normally dig down into to to find but um, with a dashboard you can have it all at your fingertips and Google provides a gallery <clears throat> of ready-made dashboards uh, they're really customized for certain genres of uh, use really SEO dashboards um, a good one is the site performance general site performance now let's say if you are a for example a social media guru um, there's one in here for social media so you can just import that one there's a lot of categories to choose from so um, plenty of pre-made dashboards you don't have to waste your time doing a lot of creation and here you can see there you go dashboard right at your fingertips all the information you may possibly want from your site for social information and there you go it's right there um, I didn't have to do any work all I had to do was click import and click and you're done so you've got dashboards ready to go for you another useful thing to um, to use is this real-time tool which shows you what's going on on your site or right now how many people are on your site uh, what are the top pages that are currently active that people are reading so people are actually visiting these sites right now and it shows you how many um, typically one per page but you might have a lot of traffic and you have a one site that just goes crazy it could go up to 20 200 um, but then it shows you where the traffic's coming from uh, whether websites or social networks sometimes it will show you the Google search word or search engine ser uh, words that are uh, that are bringing traffic and then down here it shows you where people where in the world people are coming from which is uh, which is useful and you can see individual items by just clicking in one of these things so I can get a list of top content people are currently reading so that's real-time stuff now we're gonna get into a little bit more complicated stuff uh, not too complicated but if you want to see all the information about your audience, where they're coming from, um, and what devices they use, this is the area to do it. A lot of this stuff is not set up by default. For example, you can get age and gender information in analytics. However, that has to be set up in the admin section. It has to be enabled and, um, and set up on the site. So that's a little more complex than we can get into today. You won't have instant access to that information, unfortunately. But you do have access to... Um, like I showed earlier in the dashboard, location information. And usually darker colors on this map mean more readers from that area. Um, you can hover over it and see how many readers you've gotten. And remember, your time frame is up here. Uh, don't forget about that because you might wonder, wow, I have 61,000 people. Yes, but that's over a whole month. So just keep track of your time, of your time frame. Um, and then you can also see, of course, what language, what the language is based on, geographic region also. So you're really getting the same information in a different format. Um, you can also see, um, this is really useful. Uh, it's important for seeing loyalty of your readers. Um, so that would be this section right here, new and returning. You want to see um, new, if you have a, a lot of new, that could indicate a lot of search traffic. And in my case, I do have about 90% um, of my traffic is new. Uh, usually I chalk it up to search, giving, having good search traffic. The problem with that is you want a lot of returning visitors, you want loyal readership, but you can, um, when you're analyzing individual articles, you can look at returning visitors to see how uh, loyal sections of your site are, um, are good at, how, how good sections of your site are at generating loyal visitors. Um, so that's a good metric right there to look at. Um, frequency and recency is kind of the same it's kind of duplicating that so another really good thing to check out to see how well your site is, is designed for different browsers is the browser section browser and, o, and OS so for example I can see that my site must 
uh, performed pretty well in Chrome and Safari. Most of my reader, readerships from there. Of course, this also has to do with user, with you, um, how many users out there. So you know, there may not be as many BlackBerry users as Chrome. So that would also explain why I have so many. But um, but usually, a lot of the differences here at the top are because your site may not um, display that well. For I have no brow, I have no browser. Um, Opera browser users, so you know maybe maybe my site isn't really well designed for Opera. Something to check out. Um, you can also see where people are coming from based on the uh, ISP, the, the network, the ISP that they're coming from. Uh, this is top ten, but as you can see, there are eleven thousand. So I can go up to five thousand listings. I'm just going to do two hundred and fifty. So you can kind of see where people are coming from based on the the ISPs that are coming to your site. Um, you can get some interesting stuff in here if you post, uh, for example, uh, my site, I post a lot of um, stuff about espionage, spying, and government intelligence, and sometimes you'll see interesting, you know, military visitors and, um, you know, like the White House or something, and it's, it makes you wonder, but of course, you know, there are regular people at these locations also, so don't read too much into it, but it's kind of cool to see where people are coming from by browsing a lot of this stuff. And finally, you can see mobile devices people are using to visit your site. Um, and you really want to see a lot of mobile users. This is this number for me has increased since I designed a responsive theme. Uh, before, this was really dragging. I had no mobile. I had no tablet. Everything was almost all desktop. So you want a good balance here. Of course, again, it comes down to how many people are actually using these devices. Um, and then you can get a listing. If you click on devices, you can get a listing of actual devices where most people are coming from, what most people are using. Um, this would be kind of expected. You know, most users out there are using Apple, but I have plenty of tablet users, so I want to make sure you want to make sure the website is optimized for really what people are using to visit your site. Um, you want to make sure it works well. So hopefully if you have an iPad, view your site on the iPad, view your site on an iPhone, Just make sure it looks it looks good and you're you're serving people the content that they want to see easily. Um, without too much work on their part, so that's audience is a good is really good for seeing um, things like that, where they're coming from, what devices they're using. Now I'm going to move on to the um, terminology Google uses is kind of uh, unique. It's different. They've changed this up a few times. I don't really like this type of terminology because it doesn't make a lot of sense. But the way I look at it this way is acquisition is um, how you're acquiring your traffic basically. And this tell, this is things, if you go to the overview, it's things like where all your traffic is coming from. Um, this is, or, you know, organic. Uh, people typing in your direct would be people typing in your URL into the browser. Uh, people coming from social networks. And then other websites referring you. Um, so this gives you a good breakdown of how you're doing. It looks like, as you can see, most people on my site are coming from organic. But there's plenty of uh, referrals, there's healthy referrals. I like to see that um, you really want to get that up and increase your referrals. Of course, and increase your social. Um, but you can dig down into that by going into uh, all traffic, and this shows you basically everything from everywhere. So this is <clears throat> what we just saw, but it's more of a breakdown into individual um, sites. So I can see my uh, mobile Facebook used to be down to like the 20. Um, now it's come up into the top 10 because the site is responsive, so you can see how things, um, how sites that refer you shift around based on um, whether you're appealing to the readership, whether you are, uh, like in this case, mobile-based. Um, so you can only look at referrals rather than um, search traffic by going to referrals, and this will show you all websites, including social, so you can see your top websites. Um, if you do want to see just just social referrals, come right down here, click on social, and go to go to uh, network referrals. And remember, this is all under acquisition, how you're acquiring your traffic. And network referrals will tell you all of the social networks that are sending traffic to you, your top social um, traffic. And as you can see, Facebook's huge for my site. Um, I do have plenty of referrals from individual websites from the Discus community, so it really depends on how you're, um, how you've embedded a lot of the, the social network tools on your site, um, and how you promote your site, that will determine really what your top 
top 10 is. Um, so moving on, then you've got another good thing to check out is landing pages. These aren't overall landing pages on your site. Okay, these are um, people coming directly from social networks where they arrive on your website. This is useful because it tells you which of your um, articles or pages are most appealing on social networks. So this will tell you um, <clears throat> that information, and this is really useful. Um, so that's it for social networks. Uh, you can see search engine, search engine information. You can see your top queries by clicking on queries, which is really, um, really useful because if you want to optimize, you can try to tweak those queries, add to them, uh, recover more content that people like that are coming, um, how they're coming to your site. If you know that they're arriving to your site looking for a certain topic, give them more of that information. Um, try to focus and, and produce more content people like. Um, and then the landing pages are from in the in as the same as the social networks, which showed you where people are arriving from the social networks. In this case, it shows you where they're arriving, what page they're arriving on when they come from from the um, from the search engines. Which means these are the ones that are doing extremely well in the search engines. Um, this is really useful information because again, it tells you uh, what type of topics do well on. Um, on the search engines. So uh, you, you may spend a lot of your time in here if you're interested in, in increasing your, your search engine traffic. So moving on to behavior. Behavior is um, again another misnomer because it's not reader behavior really. It's more like site behavior, site speed, and um, how your site content is performing. Um, this is where you're really if there's one place you're going to go every day Go to, go to behavior because this is where you're going to see your overall traffic pattern, um, your overall page views for the whole site under all pages. That's your whole site. Okay. Um, it's Sometimes it's useful. A lot of people don't like to see just the permalinks here. So you might want to choose to show page title, right? So it makes more sense. And then um, if you don't want to see everything, you want to see maybe I want to see um, articles on the site where I wrote about UFOs, right? So this is a filter, and this will show me which titles have the word UFO in it. I can see I have 81 titles down here, and this shows all of them. And now I can see um, of all the traffic on my site that covers UFOs, how's traffic doing? And look, this is interesting because I can see up until I upgraded the site, UFOlogy on my site didn't do very well, and all of a sudden, the new design it attracted more people interested in UFOlogy, probably because I highlighted it on the front page. But this is a good indicator of what people are interested in on your website, um, and really focusing on topics and different areas of your site. And speaking of different areas, by the way, um, if you have categories, if you have um, sections of your site, you can go to content drill down, and that will show you how each section is doing. My site happens to be organized in terms of um, in year, so this is which is really useful for me because now I can see which year I was doing very well, uh, which is interesting because 2013 I didn't do as well as 2012, but 2014 looks like it's already even three months into the year, well on its way towards surpassing both of those. So this is um, a really good way to, to look at sections of your site, like for example my about page, if I want to see how many people are visiting my about page, um, click on the about drill down and there's my all my author pages. So it drills down into the different levels of your site and you can see traffic for individual pages, individual sections, um, which is really useful again for analyzing areas of your site rather than just the whole the whole deal, you know, all at once. Um, landing pages are overall landing pages for your entire site coming from everywhere. And then you have exit pages, which is useful because that shows you, you know what, um, these are the pages where most people are leaving your site. You may want to uh, pay close attention to that if you have a page that doesn't have normally high page views, but you are uh, a high percentage of those are leaving the site. Um, you do kind of expect to have fairly high exit rate for for pages that have high page views because it's just naturally a higher percentage. But um, you do want to look for indication of where your most of your traffic is leaving. You don't want to see percent exit of 100%. 
Um, something under 50 is okay. Anything over 50, you want to really understand why most people are leaving that page rather than continuing on on your website. So site content's a very good place to check that out. Site speed will tell you how your site's performing. Um, as far as the Google bot go, as far as the yeah the Google's robot goes, um, and you want to see something you know under 12 seconds, under 15 seconds. It looks like my site is healthy here, so this shows you um, overall um, page load time. I have about 18 seconds, so um, it's it's healthy, but you know there's some there's some room for improvement. Um, so this is really good and you can see the page load time by browser um, site speed by country if you dig down into it so and you can see individual pages by going on page timings and you can see where your problem children are really you can see what pages are low taking longer to load uh, maybe they have huge images you didn't realize uh, that were loaded on the page you can clear that up you can increase your overall site speed this is a really good way to break it down see where the problems are um, and of course Google is helpful with suggestions this will tell you uh, different things you can do on your site to, to fix your speed problems so this is a good area to spend if you want to optimize your website so there you go it gives you the top top pages that are not um, have a pretty bad score um, you can dig down into it and see your site your suggestions right here it'll tell you what what things you can do to um, to fix that particular page so Google has a lot of uh, more information now than they used to to help people with things like that and then another important area in here um, you really want to take a look at is in is um, in page analytics in page analytics is a a really useful way to see how people are behaving on the actual website itself in a visual format and this will overlay uh, clicks of your readers a number of clicks percentage of clicks um, for this time period on your website so you can see where most people are clicking on your page it doesn't always load inside Google Analytics but don't worry you just click on load in full view and it will open a uh, basically a new tab in your browser and it'll, it'll basically load your site and then it'll overlay all that data that I just told you about. It takes a little it takes a little while but if you're patient it comes up in, an, uh, in a frame and there you go now it's filling the the it's overlaying another layer on top of this the website and it's showing 61 over half people come to my site click on the on the on the banner so this kind of helps you figure out what can I do with the people that are clicking on my banner it will take it to the main page do I really want to do that because it just keeps reloading the same page why not do something more useful um, and you can see people are using the home for navigation as well They're using this home for navigation um, do you want your header to bring them home so maybe it's a good navigation tool maybe you can do something else um, and then you can see you know what topics people are clicking on more in your in your menu I can see that top secret projects is working really well maybe more people want to see that uh, the same with um, the same with conspiracy research maybe scams and fringe science not so much um, you can see where people are clicking along the sidebars headers and then as you scroll down you'll see which which topics are, are actually getting clicks um, you can see the people I notice here people are clicking on the comments not even going to the article itself they're going straight to the comments so that tells me that um, comments no, no um, comments mentioned on the main page may actually attract attention so sometimes what you can do to um, to take advantage of that is to actually put recent comments that's what I've done on my site put recent comments and you can see people like that it's uh, it's engaging people like to see people engaging the site and it encourages people to um, to engage as well so this kind of um, click map can really help you understand what people like on your site where they're navigating the page and where you can optimize your content to really take advantage of, of what people want to see and, and how they click on the site so that's a really good tool a really useful tool and that is all of Google Analytics I hope this was a helpful overview for you um, please come back to make use of for more information we have existing 
uh, articles on Google Analytics, and we plan to publish some more um, complex videos for you. Maybe we'll dig into some of these areas and help you make better use of Google Analytics. Once again, this is Ryan with Make Use of. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and thanks for watching.